Welcome to our RNN tutorial. In the next minutes, we will remind you the very basics of neural network theory. We will also present a very simple architecture of recurrent neural network to give you a better insight how it works. Already now, I would like to invite you to follow up tutorial where we present the SI toolkit. It is a set of scripts we prepared to help you easily start the adventure of modeling system dynamics with RNNs. So, how does it work? A simplest single-layer network is a mathematical function which applies two operations to its input. First, a linear operation. We can understand this operation as a matrix multiplication. Second, a nonlinear operation. This can be realized by various functions like hyperbolic tangent or sigmoid function. These two operations taken together constitute a single neural network layer. Training of a neural network consists of adjusting the coefficients of matrix A until the output fits some target values. It is usually done by gradient descent methods. We can stack multiple neural network layers on top of each other, possibly with different linear and nonlinear operations. This way, we obtain multilayer perceptron. The output of MLP depends only on the current input. We can, however, add the memory to the network by adding internal feedback to each or some of the layers. This way, we create a recurrent neural network. Let us now zoom into one of these layers to see how such a feedback can be implemented. We start the construction of our RNN with simplest neural network layer. We have linear operation followed by nonlinear operation. With these two operations here, we will call further a primary neural network. I would also like to notice that in this slide I marked inputs and outputs with different colors and fonts than in previous slides. I did it to emphasize that we now study single layer and not the whole network. Let us now add the output of the network from the previous time step t-1 as the second input to the layer. We can concatenate this new input together with the current input and apply to it a secondary neural network, a linear operation, however now a different linear operation than the previous one, and a nonlinear operation. In this case, we want the nonlinear operation to be specifically sigmoid function. The output of the sigmoid function is a number between 0 and 1. We can then multiply it with the output of the primary neural network. This way we obtained the output of the primary neural network modulated by the secondary neural network. In the last step we multiply the previous output with 1 minus sigmoid output and add it to the modulated output of primary neural network. You can now think of the whole system as of a first order infinite impulse response filter of the output of primary neural network. The filter coefficient alpha is dynamically set by secondary neural network. I would like to emphasize that this is just one possible example of implementation of feedback in neural network layer. Normally, RNN layers like GRU or LSTM are slightly more complex. The main idea stays, however, the same. As you can imagine, modeling system dynamics with RNN is usually not a one-hour task. To make it for you a one-hour task, we developed SI Toolkit, a set of scripts for system identification with neural networks. It is designed to let you start neural network training of your choice without any coding, quickly evaluate quality of your predictions with convenient graphical user interface, 
and reduce time necessary to integrate the trained neural network into your controller by providing convenient predictor class. Thanks for watching, and we are looking forward to see you in the tutorial explaining setting up and running the SI Toolkit.